Welcome to another edition of Indie Review. This time we're looking at Isagoras, a game like Strikers or Ikaruga. Does it hold on its own, or does it fall from being anything special? Isagora's graphics aren't the most detailed, but they're certainly nicely done. Especially the water looks very well done in the background. The details are self-evident in the small bite-sized enemies that are on screen, and the particle effects aren't over the top and aren't too little. They work just right. All in all, Isagora's is a game that looks entertaining. An 8.5. The controls for Isagora's is pretty standard and it works smoothly, minus some enemies who seem kind of cheap sometimes. The game plays like any other Strikers clone. The part that I particularly liked was that the camera angle changes from a straight up and down view to diagonals, making that something interesting to try to get used to as you play through, as the control feel is the same, but it works surprisingly well without disorienting the player. Any. The music isn't anything to write home about, but it's good enough that you can feel the beat and almost move to it while playing. The boss music is a very short loop and can get stuck in your head, but otherwise the music is alright. The sounds are just about as standard as they come when it relies on shooter games like this. An 8.5. Like any game such as Strikers or Ikaruga or Shoot 1-Up, this game has a decent amount of replay because these have always been the typical arcade classic. These kind of games always eat up quarters in arcades, and it's no different in this game's case. It's a fun game, and you'll want to play it multiple times. An 8 in replay value gives Isogoras a total 8.25 out of 10. Thanks for watching this episode of Indie Review. For further reviews and information on Xbox Live Indie titles, make sure to check out IndieNerds.com for more previews, updates, and reviews. See you next time. <laughs>